What is the Dunning-Kruger effect? Why is it important and what can you do about it? A form of cognitive bias, the Dunning-Kruger effect demonstrates that across all ability levels, we most often misjudge our own performance relative to our peers. We fail to accurately estimate our abilities. While those with low skill, let's call them novices, grossly overestimate their ability, those with relative high skill, experts, slightly underestimate. And the reason for this type of error is what makes the Dunning-Kruger effect so interesting, in that both low and high skill individuals are largely ignorant or unaware of the error. In other words, regardless of skill level, we most often lack the knowledge required to accurately assess our own performance. Now, generally speaking, the consequences for a novice overestimating their ability is relatively low. For instance, overestimating how good you are at singing or dancing isn't typically dangerous. In fact, it probably makes it easier to stay motivated and belt out some karaoke if you're unaware of exactly how bad you are. However, the same cannot be said for skills such as driving or swimming. Overestimating your ability in these areas can be deadly. For instance, drivers with less than six months behind the wheel have been found to be eight times more likely to be involved in a fatal crash. And the Dunning-Kruger effect does not only affect novices. There are also the high-skill individuals or experts that slightly underestimate their ability. While consequences of this type of error are also generally low, there are still some implications to consider. Specifically, high-skill individuals assume others are equally capable. They do not recognize their performance as anything special. Therefore, for good or bad, high-skill individuals sometimes unintentionally contribute to peer pressure failing to realize others are not as capable. A deadly combination then, the Dunning-Kruger effect can, for example, result in high and low skill swimmers together, both ignorant of their true abilities. Looking over at an island, the high skill individual does not see the swim as anything difficult. At the same time, the low skill individual is unable to recognize the potential danger. The expert swimmer thinks anyone can make it, and the novice doesn't realize that they can't make it. They start to swim towards the island and tragedy follows. So what can you do about the Dunning-Kruger effect? Given that the major challenge in addressing the Dunning-Kruger effect is that we don't know what we don't know, this can be a tough situation to resolve. But there are several potential ways to avoid or minimize the effects, including rejecting the use of peer comparison. As an alternative, establish objective measures and solicit frequent feedback regarding your performance. This is a meta decision whereby you actively scaffold your learning, comparing your performance today against your previous performance. This can help avoid the use of making peer comparisons. Next, break down a goal into the necessary subtasks, focusing on specific rather than general abilities. Research has shown that the more specific a task, the harder it is to maintain an illusion of being better than we actually are. For example, it is easier to make the general claim that you are great at using tools for home repair than it is to make the more specific statement that you are awesome with a power saw. Last, seek out qualified mentors. Note, these are not individuals within your peer group. These are credentialed professionals that can accelerate the learning process providing formal instruction that includes objective and timely feedback. This allows you to make a quicker transition from novice to intermediate and then advance towards becoming an expert. In summary, the Dunning-Kruger effect is a form of cognitive bias that is largely a result of using peer comparison. When we compare ourselves to others, we risk the consequences of making inaccurate judgments of our own abilities.